Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Happy Monday. It's going to be a great week, isn't it? Well, as far as how the week kicked off, it didn't kick off too poorly. S&P 500 off almost 1%. SPY closing at 567.80 by the end of the day. Could this be a rounded top forming here from a technical standpoint? Uh, it could. I think if we have any follow through to the downside, that would be uh, the result of busting south of the 21 day moving average. We tend to see at least a couple days of follow through in that case. And maybe that ends up a pullback or maybe tomorrow we just have a bit of a reversal. Now, as far as the rest of the week goes, we've got a lot of Fed speakers. And Thursday and Friday, we have CPI and PPI very key inflation data, not the Fed's favored inflation metric, but eh, pretty close second and third, right? Uh, another thing we need to consider is that crude was up pretty well today, up about 3.8% on potential tensions in the Middle East. And that rising crude does tend to have a negative impact on stock prices. Now you can see that the VIX is up quite a bit here today. And part of that could be on fears of rising tensions in the Middle East. And some of it probably has to do with the fact that earnings season will be kicking off pretty soon. Not uh, this week, not really next week, but after that, we're gonna start easing our way into it. And we tend to see rising volatility in that case. So this is an interesting spot to pick your spots in setting up credit spreads with this high implied volatility, but we've gotta be careful, particularly to the downside, put credit spreads can be a little bit tricky right now, but if we get a dip, they can open themselves up to some pretty good opportunities. Hope that helps, this is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.